Well, how do you get your thrills? Is it licking batteries? Don't do that. Don't do that. Or is it like me, maybe taking nine items through the eight items or less checkout? Really? Oh. Yeah. You are crazy. Sometimes I've been known to not Danger. match my belt with my shoes. Stop it. Oh, it's called stop. living dangerously. Yeah. Like these guys, right? We're talking about our next guest. Now, they get their thrills by chasing tornadoes around America. Take a look at this. What a tornado! Oh. Oh. Wow. Are they nuts? I'm talking about Aussie Storm Chasers, Justin Noonan and Daniel Shumi. Now they're joining us from the Gold Coast to answer that question, are you nuts? <laughs> well, you could say that. <laughs> What's the appeal, guys? Is it just the adrenaline rush that you get from being in the middle of these tornadoes or very close to these tornadoes? Is that the great appeal? Uh, not really. I mean, it's great to be so close to these things, but... It's basically Mother Nature uh, showing just how insignificant we really are. And a lot of us at Chase have all been fascinated from storms since we were children. So it basically stems from that, and it's just something that we love doing. The pictures that we're looking at are amazing. Now, I think this is a storm that you captured at Oklahoma. Tell us about this one. Yeah, that one was near Guthrie in northeastern Oklahoma. It was just after a tornado subsided, and we just managed to get this awesome view of the storm. Unbelievable. Do you know, I reckon if I ran into you two guys on my trip to America, I would get the hell out of there because I'd be thinking there's probably a, a tornado coming. But how do you know where they're going to be? I mean, obviously I know there's weather maps, but they're unpredictable. So how do you know precisely where to be? Um, well, basically a couple of days out, we get a rough indication as to where we should be. And normally 24 hours beforehand, we really delve deeply into the models, um, looking at what's going to happen in the overlays. Uh, satellite images, basically choose a target area, um, drive there for that morning and basically play the waiting game. You could wait eight, ten hours for initiation. Guys, on the serious side, tornadoes can be very destructive. Uh, how close have you come to uh, serious problems? Uh, well, in 2011, uh, I was very, very close to the devastating Joplin, Missouri tornado. It missed us by about 300 mm -hmm. metres. Uh, it was pretty horrific, um, driving down the main street, getting out of town and watching people just walking along, ignoring the tornado warnings. My goodness. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it, it was horrific. Well, as a, uh, as, as a former weather girl, like JT, we call it each other weather nerds, uh, I've been <laughs> with storm chasers before. It's pretty exciting stuff, but not something I want to do again <laughs> if I've done it once. Thank you both, Justin and Daniel, for being with us. No worries. Thank, thank you. you.